What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and I'd like to announce that we have pretty much the first ever tease and I guess leaked information regarding Call of Duty 2019 or more than likely Modern Warfare 4. Now earlier last night I saw this image and I sent it to all of my friends and I even uploaded the same image to the Modern Warfare 4 subreddit but I'm not sure if I can post the same image in the video. However, I will leave a link down below to the picture and the Reddit thread in case you guys want to get involved with the discussions on there. But basically, the image was a GameStop listing from their internal computer inventory system. And it says that one of the new up-and-coming stock items are the employee t-shirts for the new COD reveal. But that's literally the only description given. Now, if you remember, last year Black Ops 4 was actually leaked out because of a similar image found with a bunch of promotional items for the game. And in that same com computer like description and inventory layout, it says like Black Ops 4 lanyard, Black Ops 4 t-shirt, etc. However, this year, I think Activision had contacted GameStop and they probably said not to include the title for the up and coming COD game in the description due to employees possibly leaking the intel, that kind of stuff. So I understand why they did that, but at the same time, we also got to consider that this image does not really um, give us any additional info besides um, when the reveal is going to take place. Um, definitely, it says June 4th, 2019, but we could possibly get some teasers and some official intel like later on within the next couple of weeks here. Um, but this more than likely could be something related to E3 possibly. Um, there's a lot of other variables involved with this listing here. So um, we also have to take it with a grain of salt too because this could possibly be fake at the same time. However, I, I'm pretty sure that this image actually is legit. I think it was taken from a GameStop employee. It's just nothing has been confirmed as of now, such as the actual reveal date by Activision or Infinity Word, you know. But I have seen reports from journalists within the gaming scene that are pretty credible. And a lot of them are saying we won't have to wait until June to get a reveal. Something should be happening this month in May, which I, I guess really is no surprise, honestly. So when I saw this image, I did not instantly make a video on it or tweet anything about it because it, it's really something not to get hyped over. But now what does pique my interest are a few tweets from Robert Bowling, who was the former community manager over at Infinity Ward Studios. And he worked on all of the Modern Warfare games, but during Modern Warfare 3, he left and now he's overworking for EA Studios. But Robert Bowling tweeted out a few videos, kind of paying homage to the Modern Warfare series. And the first tweet was a video that zooms in on Ghost's face, and in the background we can hear the Johnny Cash cover of the song Hurt, which is a pretty dang good song by the way. Um, but in the tweet itself, Robert Bowling gave the date October 8th, 2019 which happens to land on a Tuesday, so personally, I feel that he's not hinting towards the release date for the new COD. I think it has something to do with the release date for a remaster of the Modern Warfare campaign series. Maybe later on in the next few weeks, or even that same day on, on in next month in November, which would be November 8th, 2019, which happens to be a Friday, that could be when the new COD Modern Warfare 4 launches because usually the new COD games launch on a Friday. Really, it all just kind of lines up perfectly. Um, the next video showcases the death of Ghost from the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. And yeah, I mean, I just don't think these tweets have anything to do with the new COD 2019. But maybe, maybe Activision or Infinity Ward had hired or asked Robert Bowling to help with remastering the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. Or maybe even a bundle of all the Modern Warfare campaign, who knows. Um, so yeah, this is, this is actually what's keeping me pretty dang hyped right now. Along with a few other tweets that Robert Bowling replied to, I'm gonna have them on screen for you guys right now. In the first tweet here, Robert Bowling says, Me at 10pm, I should get some sleep. Me at 2pm. And it's an image of him with a Modern Warfare shirt. I think this was during um, COD XP for Modern Warfare 3, but the 3 is missing. And uh, this guy, Ragefest421, replied to that tweet and said, where's the 3 at, Robert? And then he replied to his tweet and said, I don't know it was there before, as in B-E-F-O-U-R. 
So that, you know, really, I think that's a teaser for Modern Warfare 4. Like, that actually got me very, very um, excited to see. So, yeah, that's just a few tweets that Robert Boeing tweeted out within the past couple of hours here. Like, this was early in the morning, super, super early in the morning. Um, and I thought I would report this to you guys. I wasn't going to make a video on the GameStop listing um, because, like I said, it doesn't really showcase any information that we don't already know. Um, but I, I just thought I would include it in the video because of Robert Bowling's tweets here, guys. If anything, I would pay attention to him right now because this this guy knows something. He definitely knows something. What's going to be going on for this year's Call of Duty game? Um, it's been a big, big kept secret. Far too long of a wait for the reveal or any information or teasers. I cannot wait, guys. We should be getting something later on in the next few weeks here. And I'll make sure to keep you guys posted on anything that I find. Please drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. And also comment down below your thoughts on these tweets. And do you think Robert Bowling is hinting towards Modern Warfare 4? Or possibly something different? I don't know. Again, just please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Till next time, I'll see you later.